Thank you, Stephen. What began on a West Bear County street put three women on the road to trouble. Sheriff's deputies say they caused a commotion in a neighborhood which left a patrol car with a broken window, then tried to drive away. Katrina Weber is live where deputies caught them on Shanefield Road, not too far from Wild Horse Parkway. And Katrina, what kinds of charges are they facing? Well, some of them are facing more serious charges than the others, uh, but basically everything from criminal mischief to aggravated assault. Now, this is where those three women were finally arrested. Their car came to a stop on the curb there up against a tree. But let me show you some video from where things began around 3.30 this morning. Now, uh, deputies had gone to a home on a street called Round Ridge uh, to investigate a report about an assault. They believe that an 18-year-old woman hit her boyfriend with a mason jar. As the deputy arrived to investigate, that is when that woman and two others were leaving the house. They say one of those women picked up something, smashed the back window on the deputy's car. They then jumped into their car and drove away. That deputy radioed for help. Other deputies spotted the three women in the car, managed to stop them and started to take them all into custody. But they say that 18-year-old woman involved in the assault then slipped out of her handcuffs, jumped back into her car, and then took off again. And then again, that is when uh, deputies managed to get her to stop. She ended up on the curb. They took all three women into custody. And again, they're looking at charges ranging from criminal mischief for that broken window to aggravated assault related to uh, that 18-year-old woman allegedly hitting her boyfriend. But it was a wild morning, according to deputies here. And uh, they finally did get both of these scenes cleared up. So it looks almost like nothing happened, but those women definitely facing charges. So they know for sure that something did happen. Reporting live in West Bear County, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.